Hello, everybody. Good morning and or afternoon, depending upon where you're at. And welcome to today's Kamen webinar, the new Kamen Microsoft Licensing Portal. My name's Mike Klass, and I'm an account manager here at Kamen IT. Kamen has recently updated our Microsoft Licensing Portal, and we'd like to show you how to use it today. So please sit back and relax, and let's hear our president and CEO, Mr. Matt Katzer, talk to us today about the new Kamen Microsoft Licensing Portal. Please take it away, Matt. Hey, Mike, thank you very much for the introduction and welcome everyone to our overview of the license portal. You know, when we look at changes on the license portal and how things have changed with Microsoft, one of the big changes Microsoft has since they moved to this new uh, commerce interface, this new license called NCE. In a nutshell, you have license now that are monthly, uh, yearly or triannual term. And so when we looked at our license portal, we tried to put something in place with the basically give you the ability so you can change the terms based on what your usage is. And this is really important because if you make a mistake in terms of license changes, you're responsible for the license payment for the entire term. A little bit about CAM IT for those that know, don't know us, we're the fourth year running Inc. 5000. We grow roughly 30% or greater every year. We're also a direct managed Microsoft partner. There's only a few hundred of us in the United States. And we're one of the 52 partners in the United States that actually offer the AOSG licenses, which are the DOD for the Department of Defense for Office 365. And so we're really strongly involved in Microsoft license and Microsoft ecosystem. Now, when we looked in terms of how we wanted to do the license portal, we actually built our license portal using Microsoft Power Apps, and it's actually on running on Dynamics CRM. And to use the portal is really easy as one, two, three. You basically, it's for only global admins, so you have to have the ability to change license and assign it. And you go to our website, and basically what you do is you look at this on the upper right-hand corner of the website, you go select where it says licenses and license portal. And, and we also put the URL if you wanna go directly to it yourself. And then you log in with your 365 credentials. And the first thing you're gonna see is that you have to accept the terms of the license terms. And this is important because Microsoft changes to the license term. You, if you make a mistake, we have 168 hours which to undo the change, which seems like a lot of time, but it really isn't. That's less than a week. So we accept, you have to accept the, uh, the terms and conditions. And if you do make a mistake, change it immediately, contact us and we'll help you change it because the way Microsoft structured is that you basically are responsible for the licenses to the end of term. So if you buy mistake buy 100 E3 licenses and you only meant to buy 10, then, and you're on a three-year agreement, you're basically going to pay 100 licenses for over 36 months, and it comes very, very expensive. So contact us if you make a mistake and everything else. But the first thing you do is after you log in, just click it, and you see access into the license portal. You can see your subscriptions, you can see your invoices, and also you can see the usage data for Azure, so that's available as well, and you can manage the licenses. Now, as a global admin, if you don't have the right privileges, you're going to see this bar that say the managed access so you don't have permissions. But this is here a screenshot of what you're actually going to see for the licenses. Now, if you are our global admin when you access and keep in mind, so you can invite other folks in here that don't need the global admin to see the vi visibility, see what's going on. But if you're a global admin, you're going to see this capability in terms of the licenses. So you can actually go through and select each of these licenses and make changes. And it, when you add value and when you add the licenses, it's really you go expand the subscription type that you want to have. And most users will have two subscriptions. You're going to have an Azure subscription and you're going to have a 365. And you expand the 365 subscriptions and you're going to see all the different licenses that you have. And then make changes, you just really, it's very simple. You just select a license, change the quantity, change in terms of the date if you want to have the date effective. And this is important because under NCE, you can select the dates that you want to have license effective. And then you just commit it and the license provision. A very easy process to go through. Now, how to get started on this? And what we've done is that all the cl our clients, we have actually sent to the subscription owners, 
a how to get how, a basically introduction or invite to the license portal. And so what you do is when you get the invite, you just really just click on the URL and then you you can come through and you fill in the necessary information and set up your account. Now, one of the first things you have, and this kind of confuses some folks when you actually go in, you actually have to grant permissions. Now, what this is is doing is granting permission to the license portion portion of your 365 tenants. So if you're using dynamic CRM, we're not giving actual rights and everything else to us. We're just talking about the ability of our implementation of the license portal on dynamic CRM in order to write to your basically 365 instance. And you, from a license portal standpoint, you just accept it and you go through and you have the really very straightforward. It's it's like to sum, summarize it, just go to Canva.com, select the license portal in the upper right hand corner, make the changes, and then basically that's pretty much it. And if you have questions on it or if you haven't received the invite, please go kind of contact us. We'll give you an invite to the portal. Just to submit a request on support at CaminIT.com or just call us and ask us the support desk and we'll get you the con get you connection. So we're looking forward to actually helping you and basically getting all your services on and be able to, so you can actually manage them on Office 365. So reach out today and let's go look at the portal. And with Mike, that's, I'll pass it back to you. Thank you very much, Matt. Um, it's been a little bit of time in this incoming, and um, we're excited to share our new Microsoft licensing portal with you. So again, go kick the tires, give it a test drive, and if you have any questions, I think you know what to do. And um, look forward to hearing your comments in, in the future and uh, what you think of our new Microsoft licensing portal. Um, we appreciate your time today and wish you well. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye. Thank you, everyone.